Oh, Jax, is this another one of those YouTube videos? Yes, Uncle Wallace, it is. Oh, please, no. What's it on this time? How to be happy. You can't determine my happiness. How dare you? Oh, dill pickle Mmm, those do smell nice. Mmm, my happy place. Wait a minute. Uncle Wallace is right. I can't and I'm not even going to try to determine your happiness. What I would like to do is give you some tools. <laughs> you don't think I have tools? Guess again. Come on, Uncle Wallace, not those kind of tools. Tools you can implement every day to give you a more positive outlook on life. Do you ever wake up in the morning and ask yourself, is my job really worth getting out of these warm, comfy sheets? Can I stay in this shower for five lifetimes? <coughs> oh. No, I better stay home. I could have you know what. Corona? We've all had those mornings. I used to have them every morning until I started my gratitude meditation. Well, I'm not into meditation. No worries, Uncle Wallace. You can practice gratitude while you're getting ready. Thank you for this water that's cleaning my body. Thank you for the opportunity of a new day. What you're doing is priming your mind for a positive day. Toxic thoughts don't have much wiggle room and you won't be comparing yourself to others because you're so grateful for what's already yours. You're more confident and likable as others around you absorb your positive energy. It's pretty hard to start your day stressed and depressed when you start it with gratitude. Although I have to say it can be challenging to practice gratitude if you don't catch enough Z's. Yeah, well, sometimes I'm up all night playing Dungeons and Dragons. Well, how do you feel when you wake up in the morning? How do you feel when you wake up in the morning? Sleep deprivation affects our hippocampus in an interesting way. When we are sleep deprived, our mind has trouble recalling positive, cheerful memories, but has no problem recalling the gloomy ones. You're more sensitive to negative emotions, more prone to having bad moods, and overall, you're just not yourself. Aim for seven to eight hours a night to wake up ready to crush your day. Since we're on the topic of the bedroom, let's talk about your sex life. Not only does a healthy sex life increase your longevity, improve your mental health, and reduce your stress. Did you know that 61% of singles and 18% of married couples haven't had sex in the last year? Um, Uncle Wallace, don't you fall into that category? You know, you're really wrecking my chances. A healthy sex life leads to more intimate relationships, leading to happier and more romantically satisfied couples. Even if you're single, sex will increase dopamine and reduce cortisol. Just make sure to have some cuddles after, or all that could go straight out the window. Sex is also a great form of another activity, which is the number one natural cure for depression. Yo, Uncle Wallace, can you guess what it is? Yeah, I know what it is, but I despise it. Exercise pumps oxygen to the brain, helping manage the effects of anxiety and depression, as well as releasing happiness chemicals like dopamine and serotonin. Also generating new neurons in our old friend, the hippocampus helping manage your emotions and keeping them stable. The last thing I would like to touch on as I meet so many people who are lost, their lives without any real direction. A life worth living requires purpose, a reason for being. What kind of impact do you wanna make? How do you wanna leave your mark? Find a reason for why you do what you do. Create, inspire, grow, make a difference.